Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Buddhism for Children. In the month of August, we celebrate Nikini Full Moon Poya Day. In this video, we will discuss the important events that took place on this special day. The first Buddhist council was held on a Nikini Poya Day three months after the Buddha's passing, which we call Parnirvana. The Mahasangha led by Mahakashyapathera felt that the behavior of the monks were uncontrollable. A good example of this is ascetic Subhadda. Monk Subhadda became an ascetic during an old age, not actually to practice asceticism, but because he had no other way of living. During the passing of the Buddha, he requested the other monks not to mourn, but to be happy as there was no one after Buddha to give them orders. Mahakashipa saw this as problematic, and with the help of Venerable Ananda and the other major monks, the first Buddhist council was held, which went for a period of three months. The main objective of this council was to protect the sublime Dharma for the future generations. About 500 monks passed, participated this event. Three months after the Buddha's Parinirvana and on the night preceding the day when the first Dhamma Sangayana was held, Ananda Mahathera attained Arahanship. This is also called Sovan, which is the first step to attaining enlightenment. Venerable Rahula, who was the son of Prince Siddhartha, also attained Arahanship on a Nikini Poya day. Was is referred to as the rainy season in Buddhism. Monks start the Vats period at the start of Asala Poya. This is called Paravas. Monks who are unable to observe Vats on Asala Poya day have the opportunity to start their Vats on Nikini Poya day. This is called Pasuvas. I hope you know a lot about Nikini Poya day now. If you are interested in learning more about the full moon Poya days, check out my playlist on full moon Poya days. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. By subscribing to my channel, you will receive instant updates of my latest videos. And you also can keep a track of the activities of your favorite YouTube channel, Buddhism for Children. It's a useful way to stay informed and connected online. So go and subscribe to my channel now. Till I see you from another interesting Buddhist video, stay safe. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.